Morning, guys. So, you know, there's my kids, my beautiful kids. They're doing homework. It's a uh, good Friday here, so uh, I'm doing some smoked spirits here. Uh, I already pre seasoned this with some uh, ketchup. Well, with some good ketchup. And now we're gonna cold this again with some hickory. It's cold it pretty good. This is what the kids wanted, so we're gonna we're gonna go with this today. You know, just just dab it, just to you know, don't uh, rub it because it'll be it'll taste kind of different and stuff. So. Just turn it over. I already coated the other side, so just do the same process. And just coat it again. We just put ketchup just so that it'll hold the seasoning on the grill. Just like that and just dab it. Just to hold it. Remember, safety first, always wear gloves. Even if it's just for the family, always wear gloves just to protect. And just, and just make sure you get the corners everywhere. Today we're just gonna be smoking some of this on the smoker. We're gonna do it with some apple wood, pecan wood and some uh, hickory wood. It's a good weather, so I thought I'd be out there smoking some some good spares for dinner tonight. The wife's at work, so thought I'd do this before she gets home. And yeah, make sure you coat it good. Let that sit for about maybe maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Let it sink in. We'll go out there and prep the smoker. the meat moist while doing the process of cooking. So. I like to put it off to one side just to you know get the side that's the heated the most. So the charcoal I like to use is natural wood lump charcoal for some smoking uh, to get started. They produce pretty good amount of heat. Uh, they come in pretty good sized chunks. You know they they last pretty good, pretty long, maybe two, you know, two, three hours for maybe two, three uh, chunks of these. I like to put it into there, maybe off to the inside a little bit, you know, kind of keep it from kind of going out of the chamber there, the side chamber. I like to keep my grill oiled and prepping the outside, you know, every time I have to use to help treat it and make it last a little longer. Uh, this is my smoker, so, you know, pretty good. So, what I got here is a Weber Connect Smart Grill Hub. It's an internal meat and uh, temperature grill connect. This one does have a temperature, but it only reads the top of it. I like to read, you know, the bottom of the temperature and, and, and the middle portion but it only reads the top of it and it's not really accurate, you know, the manufacturers and stuff, but I like to use, uh, you know, uh, whatever temperature, you know, stuff. So today we're gonna be using some pecan wood. You can pick this up at like your, wall, your local Walmart or anywhere else that they sell it. 
Um, I like to use this for anything that's pork or chicken and stuff. And then uh, these are good sized chunks for this about this size grill. Uh, this is hickory. I like to pick this up, like maybe Ace Hour, Walmart, anywhere that they sell hickory wood. Natural wood, 100% grade is the best because they're, it's not like back at home where, you know, we use Tagantongan, which is white wood. Um, they're, they're, they're actually the best for doing anything and stuff. So these, these intend to be a little stronger. So I, if you intend to start smoking, just use a little bit of this. Pecan wood is my number one wood for smoking. Uh, and applewood because they they have more sweeter flavor. Um, hickory they they haven't the tendency if you if you go overboard with this, it it gives too much uh, like harsh flavor and, and stuff into into the wood. Start throwing some some meat on the grill soon. So stick around. We'll be smoking real soon. It's always good to put to. Put these, these woods on top of your grill once you close it down. It's always good to put these on top. You know, lay them on top. So they 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 they, they will preheat. You know, so, so when you throw them on the grill, they're, they're not going to be as smoky as, as how it's going to be later on. You know, and it's not going to give that bad black smoke flavor in your chamber. Yeah, and stuff. What you want is like clean, clean smoke coming out of your chamber. You don't want all kinds of smoke because that's like, that'll give bad flavor in your, in your meat. As you guys can see, I already closed this chamber. You know, it's because it's already starting to, to ash up. So, you know, stuff. So what we're going to do with this is I got a probe here that we're going to start reading. I'm start going to let it get to at least 150 degrees you know, to, to get all that smoke out and stuff out of the chamber and, and you know, stuff. So we'll, we'll get this, we'll close this down. And later on, I'll show you guys, you know, the, the temperature of where this is set for a good, nice, good meat, meat smoking. But anyways, by the way, if you guys uh, like my apron, go to DM Creations in Facebook. Uh, it's where you guys can find a lot of aprons. He prints out uh, pretty good aprons. And uh, remember, always support local. Um, you guys uh, can go to Bonita Charms. Um, also, is his wife. She does paparazzi things too. Uh, Maria Faji. So remember, um, always, you know, support local always. So I got my spray bottle here. It's just with uh, apple cider vinegar and uh, apple juice. Just mix, you know, uh, about a little bit, maybe up to there of apple cider vinegar and then the rest, apple juice and stuff. I did have it all the way up with uh, apple juice, but I used a couple last time, so I'm just gonna, you know. When I put my spares down, I like to put uh, bone side down, you know, so on on here. I like to put it in an angle, just like that, you know, in the middle. You know, if I put it too far back, it's gonna be low and slow. If I put it too far up here, it'll be fast, you know, and spread it off too much. Then with my probe, we're gonna take our probe, we're gonna insert it in the meat not in the fat, because if you put in the fat, it ain't gonna read so well. So we're just gonna find the ones with the most meat. Just kind of insert that into the meat area. How uh, this is gonna go is we're gonna run this at 250 degrees to 300. Yeah, you know, and so we're gonna run it for three hours, and then we're gonna wrap it in butcher paper. And then, uh, we're gonna we're gonna spray it with with apple cider vinegar and apple juice, and then. Um, I like to just leave it uncovered, just until the wood turns black, you know, and burns off, as you guys can see. As soon as my wood turns black, 
I'm gonna go ahead and cover it, you know, and stuff. Cause you don't want all that black smoke to get on your meat, you know, and stuff like that. So, and that's good amount of chunk, amount of wood to run you for about maybe three and a half hours. You know, so all, all depending, These, this kind of natural wood it, it sometimes will run you even longer, depending. This is all ready to, to be uh, covered and stuff. And, and too much heat up there. That, that, that intends to do that. If you get too much smoke and too much heat, you're, 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 not, you're not cooking the meat. And, and you got too much smoke, you're, 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 you're putting too much bad taste in your meat. So you want to burn cleanly, just like that. You know, clean smoke like that means, you know, your, your cooking process is, is just right, just at the right temperature. You know, the, all the heat's there. You know, your, your smoke is, is just burning really clean. You know, so that, that's, what, that's what you want in your, in your meat. So let's get cooking. That's the thing about offset smokers. So you gotta sit and manage it. Cause uh, you gotta watch for your reading of your temperature. It's like a wave. As soon as your temperature goes down, you gotta you gotta add wood or mix the wood. You gotta watch it. You gotta you know open your your side chamber and let some let some air in airflow. You know, and so it's like a wave. You know, so you gotta watch that temperature in order for the temperature to climb back up and maintain that 250, 300. Uh, it, it, you gotta, you gotta add some wood, you know, and stuff to to keep to make sure that your the heat inside is maintained and stuff. So this is just the the process of offset smokers. It's a uh, it's a good challenge, and I like the that challenge of of it. You know, they got those other kind of smokers where you or they have it where you set it and forget it. Um, I don't like that kind of way because you know it's like it's those new ones, it's a, it's a pellet offset smoker. And that's the, those are the ones that you set and forget it, which is a trigger brand. Um, uh, those are pretty good. There's electric and stuff, but I like these ones, natural wood, you know, it's things that I like, I like to, you know, sit out here and manage my meat, you know, and stuff and be cooking for the family and, you know, uh, it's a good, it's a good feeling when you, when you're doing stuff like like this, you know. It uh, makes it all worth it at the end. So what I, what I did here is I just opened my chamber. And I just added more wood, you know. So now I'm just letting it burn off. The thing that's very important I forgot to mention is never open this once you put your meat in, I, and stuff. Just trusting your probe. That, that the temperature is going to be right um, until you, until you're ready to after uh, like three hours, you know, until you're ready to to wrap it in butcher paper. Then that's when you open that and then keep it closed. This is the only one that you're going to open just to maintain your heat. Um, it's good to go. Uh, if you guys can see, it's already gone past like maybe two hours. Temperature has dropped, you know, and stuff. So. So I just added a little more wood, you know, uh, apple wood. I'm gonna be adding a little more charcoal here soon. So we get, you know, uh, charcoal is pretty, pretty okay for now, but soon I'll be adding a little more charcoal. About to open up the chamber and give it a little bit of a spread. While we wait for my meat, look at my wife's flowers bloom. Beautiful. It was just covered just a minute ago. Now she's opening up, now the sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day, sun's out. Look at that, good skies. Beautiful day, there's one right there. I planted these for her, you know, so she has some, you know, she loves purple. So, you know, beautiful flowers. So you can see right there, it's right now at 303. If you're anything above that, you're burning a little bit too hot, you know, so kind of keep an eye on that temperature. This here, you know, I opened that, but now I'm about to close it. 
you know, and stuff because I'm, I'm already, you know, I don't want to burn too hot, you know, stuff because they're my meat. You know. Nice, good red, you know, red in color. It's pretty good, good looking color. We're gonna give this a little bit of spritz, you know, with some apples so it doesn't, so it doesn't dry out, you know. Just give it a little bit of spritz. You know, just, just a little bit of the apple juice and apple cider vinegar. You know, it's good enough. We'll cover this again, you know, for, you know, let it, let it sit for a little bit more. Grab some of this charcoal. Not a lot of wood, uh, you know, or charcoal, I mean, just keep it going. Cause we still got quite a ways, you know, to, uh, for this to burn or, you know, for our ribs to cook. All right, so we're ready to take this out of the smoker. Uh, it's already been three hours. So we're gonna take it out, you know, season it, dress it. Oh yeah, look at that. Has some pretty good color to it. I like how it looks. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. Amazing. We're gonna check the band on this thing, so. So far, that looks pretty good. I like the bend. I like to go twice with the butcher paper. Just to make sure, you know, that it's gives that nut, all that moisture. Make sure you just double layer it. Got the smaller one to the inside. And you grab your meat and you're gonna put it meat side down. So you're gonna grab your meat, put it meat side down. Because when you put it back on the grill, you're gonna put this meat side down. Okay? You don't wanna put it bone side, you wanna put it meat side down. Just throw, you know, don't put a lot of honey because it, it'll be really sweet. Take your apple sauce. We use fresh apple sauce. You know, so I just take my apple sauce and I just lay it right on top. Okay, then I coat it pretty good. Coat it nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn this over and I'll do the same thing to the other side. Coat it pretty good. Cut up some of these jalapenos. You know, just add it on it just to give it some of that good flavor you know my daughter was complaining and she didn't want jalapenos but this is just gonna give it that little kick and flavor you know it's not gonna spice it up it'll just have that smell and that good taste flavor flavor taste that's about good enough Add a couple on there. Wrap this just like this. For those of you guys that like jalapenos, this is the recipe for it. That's how that's gonna work. All right? That's how we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna take this back outside. Put it back on the grill, let it finish cooking. Our temperature is still at 280, so that's a good temperature for another two hours. Just, we just gotta monitor it, you know, stuff. Make sure that it's good and stuff. You guys like my shirt? One time, Prim, one time. If you guys wanna support, you know, go to uh, One Time Prim on Facebook, uh, David Valoya. You guys know him, he's always on Facebook. Uh, support local, support local always. One time, bro, one time. All right guys, so 
about there to unwrap this thing from the butcher paper. Uh, let's open this thing up and get this thing unwrapped and put it back in. After put the barbecue sauce on, I'll put the jalapenos back on the, on the spirits. Turn it over, we'll do the other side. Man, that's looking pretty good. I can smell that, that uh, jalapenos on it. Take a probe, make sure it's not that back on it. Two hours. So now I took out these ribs about that time. So what we're gonna do is get it put on butcher paper and you know, uh, let it sit. That's what we're gonna do. Let it sit in here. Yeah. So then we're just gonna put it in the cooler after we're done. You know, I'm just going to take out the jalapenos. They don't need to be in there. They're gone already. Let's uh, put barbecue sauce. We'll wrap this thing up. Everything is doing its thing. So, the reason we do this is so that it retains back all that moisture that we lost during the cooking process. Now we're just going to put this in the cooler and let it sit for about maybe half an hour, you know, or, or an hour maybe. You know, all depending, let it cool down. Yeah. No, oh. 